Alright guys, I'm back with another video. Uh, here's a little scratch bit that I was working on with some spare parts that I had. Um, for one, it's the Cooler Master Elite 343 case. It's been a while since I made a computer. Um, I actually have another one that I just finished building. Um, but just wanted to show, show you guys this one right here. Um, specs, uh, let's get right to it. Uh, let me just open it up. Alright, sorry for the interruption. Ran out of batteries. Um, well, here's pretty much the machine. Right here. Um, let's start with the processor. It's an AMD 4200X2. I know, old processor. Um, 4 gigabytes of memory. And this massive Cooler Master K uh, heatsink. Let's try it. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Ran out of battery power. Um, but yeah, here let's go ahead and start out with the basics. Um, it's running an AMD Athlon X2 4200. I know it's an older processor, but I had no use for it, so I might as well put it in something. Um, let's see. It's behind this massive. Uh, Cooler Master Gemin 2 uh, heatsink. I know it's a bit of an overkill for that processor, but had a, had one lying spare around. Um, let's see, intake and exhaust fan, uh, fans, uh, 120 millimeter. Uh, I think you say Galide fan or Gillid, however. And then I got a 92 millimeter in the back. Um, with uh, AMD, I mean, ATI 4770, I think. It's an older video card. Um, I still had it wrapped up, as you can see in the back. I still have the little protectors on it, too. So, um, let me see. It's all being powered by a Biostar motherboard. Which is yeah, there, there you go. There's a chipset for you. Um, and also as PSU, it's a Antec Basic 350 watt power supply. Cable management's not the greatest, but I only had a little bit to work with. A uh, small case. Um, and even though this is a giant fan, it's by far the quietest one I've seen. Um, and also incorporated with these uh, intake and exhaust fans are also really really quiet so I'm really pleased with the system I'll be running this right here on it Windows Home Server 2011 um, just want to have centralized the location oh forgot about the hard drive it is a two terabyte um, Western Digital drive um, but yeah that's about it. Um, I wanted a small case so I can put it pretty much anywhere. Uh, I'm gonna have my house wired up for Ethernet. I'm doing. I'm gonna do it myself, so everything's gonna be going to this puppy. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you guys have have any uh, suggestions, I'll be glad to listen to to you guys. Since my first centralized server that I'm building um, for my whole system. So, thanks for watching guys.